please guys, please, for the love of Amazon Flex, if it's going to a business, put the business name. <laughs> Hey YouTube, Gigstacker here. Uh, doing some Amazon Flex today. Pretty excited, haven't done Amazon Flex in a little while. Uh, yeah, so this is gonna be a three and a half hour block. Should be a good one. So this is really interesting. That's where we normally do our pickups at. Uh, but for some reason today, we are doing our pickups outside. I don't know why, it's really weird, but hey, we'll figure this thing out. I just went ahead and talked to one of the coworkers here and pretty much what they were telling me was that uh, it was just like super jam-packed, a lot of packages, so they've, uh, they're just trying to get these packages out like really quick. Yeah, so this was pretty cool. I'm guessing because we're coming up on Black Friday, you know, Thanksgiving holidays, Christmas is coming up. So like there's a lot of packages going out right now. And, um, you know, they had us picking up outside. But the really cool thing that just happened, um, when I went into the warehouse to, to grab my cart with my packages on it, the warehouse blue vest yeah he's like grab whatever whatever cart you want that's a three and a half hour block and i'm like bet you know i'm go <laughs> i'm looking through trying to find the one with the least amount of packages found one with 28 packages i'm like yep that's mine thank you very much and so uh as i'm heading out the uh the manager he's like hey you sure that's the one you want you know choose your poison wisely and i'm like yep that's that's the one i want thank you very much and i'll be on my way and i just wanted to talk about the uh amazon flex community a little bit here you know for us flex drivers it's very important for us to have a certain level of professionalism make sure we're doing our best to deliver every package um you know not giving up because it's an apartment like actually go through the effort you know put in a good amount of effort to make sure that every customer who's expecting a package delivered by Amazon or Amazon contractors, these packages are actually showing up and being delivered and whatnot. I, I definitely just had a situation where it took me way longer than I was hoping to deliver this one package to this apartment complex that I just left out of. But, you know, I put in the extra effort and made sure this customer is going to be getting their package on time. So, you know, I just wanted to put that out there. Uh, it's very important that we do our very best to be professionals. Another note on going above and beyond to make sure you're delivering packages. So this right here, as you can see, is the front door of a church. And I was delivering to this particular church, but going to that first front door and not getting an answer, um, I was thinking I was just gonna be dropping the package back off at, at the warehouse. But you know, I, I took a step beyond and walked pretty much a big circle around the entire building and found that they had a second entrance where there was actually somebody stationed at the office. And I was able to actually do my delivery there. A plus. <laughs> All right, guys, I've also got a PSA for customers using Amazon Flex. Uh, I'm just getting Amazon deliveries in general. If your delivery is going to a business, don't just put your name and the address. Put the business name as well. Like I spent, I think I spent uh, like an extra, you know, maybe 10, 20 minutes driving around trying to figure out which address I'm going to because they didn't put the business name on the delivery and sometimes it's very difficult to to see the address on a business you know big giant business tiny address or sometimes no address at all so yeah just please please guys please for the love of amazon flex if it's going to a business put the business name <laughs> thank you yo i just i was just doing a delivery to this apartment and I'm, I'm like right in front of the apartment building and the Amazon Flex app would not give me the option of I've arrived. And so I walked down the street back up, still wouldn't give me the option of I've arrived so I could scan the package. I had to do like a big loop. Yeah, so you see this right here? I had to drive all the way up there, all the way back down and then it finally gave me the option for I've arrived. Like, I legit felt like I was playing Pokemon Go. Like, it's just so ridiculous. If any of you guys know how to not have that happen on the app, please let me know, because that was terrible. 
finally dropped off my last package. I had a lot of issues for my last like four packages. Um, the app wouldn't give me the I've arrived button, so I had to like do loops around and laps and drive up the street and down the street and before the I've arrived button finally popped up. So that kind of sucked. Um, I'd say in all, that plus the issue of, yeah, that plus the issue of these businesses not putting their business name for the delivery cost me maybe an hour or an hour and a half worth of my time. Um, so I'm a, I'm a little salty, but not too upset. Not very angry, <laughs> but uh, you know, it is what it is. I still finished up within the allotted time, the uh, three and a half hours. So, yep, that's it. Amazon Flex is done for today. And I think I want to make some more money. So I'm going to go down to Montgomery County, uh, Silver Spring, I believe, and go do some uh, caviar. So this will be my first time doing caviar in that city. Hope it goes well. All right, I've been sitting here uh, with my caviar app on for the last 10 minutes in Bethesda and I haven't gotten any pings so I think I'm gonna start heading towards DC I really wanted to do some Maryland deliveries and just see what that's like but you know if there's no orders coming in then I won't be able to experience it so whatever I'm just gonna drive to DC and uh, see if I can get some orders out there all right guys so I just did about an hour online on caviar driving from the northwest part of DC pretty much to you know the east part of DC and going straight through like I, I set my route so that I went straight through downtown like all the really hot areas for caviar and in that time I've gotten zero orders zero is that, is that zero enough yep there we go zero orders I ended up messaging the caviar support team and asking them if you know possibly I'm if I'm not like actually showing up online or something you know they let me know that I am showing up online it's just really slow and that I should head to a you know a more hot area but I think I'm just gonna go home um, yeah yeah I'm gonna call it a day I'm just gonna go home yeah so I did a uh, you know one uh, three and a half hour block on Amazon flex tried to do some caviar that didn't work out oh I also <laughs> I also turned on Postmates as well and I got pinged for two orders on Postmates but I really don't feel like doing Postmates today so I declined both of those and turned that off and yeah yeah so you know that's it for today it's been a good day not an amazing day but you know it was, it was good it's good weather was nice but anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Geekstacker signing out. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to see more videos, you can check them out right here.